Hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is uh, a first video of a lecture series where we're going to be talking about uh, food and beverage outlet uh, conceptualization and planning. Today's lecture uh, will um, cover components of aesthetization or also design of tourism outlets. We're going to be talking about uh, the beginning stage uh, of conceptualization and how actually um, uh, food and beverage outlets concepts are built and designed. We're going to be talking as well about interior as one of the main components of aesthetization of uh, tourism. And we're going to finish off with a little exercise uh, that uh, you can do at home just uh, to practice all that you have learned. So let's start. So the main components of uh, aesthetization are exterior interior which we'll be discussing uh, today, also staff appearance, menu design and product design. So these are the five components of aesthetization. So basically when you're thinking of design in a tourism um, outlet, that being a hotel or a restaurant or even a tourism agency, you have to think of those components. So for the purpose of this lecture we're going to be discussing uh, purely the interior. So uh, what is a concept document? When you're starting to build a concept uh, and as this uh, in this lecture we're going to be talking about just food and beverage concepts, uh, you have to build a concept document. This concept document will include uh, all the things uh, that um, either a designer should know uh, an operations manager should know and it's basically one your one package document that contains everything that you should know about the concept that being a new concept or an existing one. So uh, such a document will normally include history of the brand if there is any of course uh, maybe it is a new concept so there is no history but if you are doing this document for an outlet that already exists it's good to uh, talk a little bit about how the, the concept uh, happened, what was the idea behind it, who are the people behind it and how basically you came up with the idea or the need for such an outlet to exist. Uh, the vision, of course the vision of the brand is always important uh, as uh, for all the people that will be working on the outlet no matter in the operational part or still in the design part. Uh, and also for your employees down in the future. Of course, mission. Market positioning of the brand. This is super important uh, for the concept document as you want to very, very clearly state for everybody that will be involved where you would like to position your brand in the market. Is that a luxury brand? Is it uh, like a mid-scale brand? Or you would like to be doing something nice and simple. So this is uh, very, very important. Also, uh, it's good to talk about product design and presentation. If you're doing a concept document for an existing outlet, you can include uh, already pictures of the overall product. And by product, I mean what you'll be serving. So your food and drinks, basically. If you don't have um, existing um, concept and you cannot take real pictures, maybe it's good to give guidance pictures of the style uh, of product that you would be offering. So you can just browse and pick up either textures or type of plate or design and the way basically you want to look. Everything that you can, that, that you can use to give the feel and the idea behind what you want to create. Of course, um, the same applies to exterior design. Um, if you've already been working with a designer, maybe the, the designer can create for you uh, renders for exterior design. If not, uh, as well, it's a good idea for you to pick up bits and pieces from other concepts or colors and textures and types of exterior that you would like to create just to give a, a, an idea of all the people that will be involved in the project. The same, absolutely the same, implies for the interior. And outlet specification. Um, in the outlet specification, you have to include things like um, would you have a bar? Uh, how big would it be? Uh, would you have out, outside seating, indoor seating? How big it would be? 
where is going to be positioned? Is it going to be standalone or maybe in a mall or in what area of the city and so on? As well, if you're creating a document for a business that will be having multiple outlets, it's good as well to include um, the, the, the typical or this particular outlet specifications such as size, uh, and position, um, geographical position, uh, as that will vary from outlet to outlet, of course. Uh, it's good to get a uniform design. Um, again, that can be either something that is already decided on and designed, or something existing, or just ideas for uh, managers and designers to, um, to, to use to start working on your particular uniform designs and as well it's always good to um, pick up um, and to include um, things like capacity uh, opening hours and so on as those can vary from outlet to outlet as well so um, here uh, I would like to talk about a couple of examples um, of uh, two outlets that actually exist one is beach a uh, bar uh, in Dubai called Breeze um, and uh, a bistro um, in uh, Beirut, Lebanon call, called Kokle Bistro. Uh, as I don't want to take too much time um, in this video, I'll actually include the documents um, uh, for you to, to have a look so you can download them and uh, take a look at them um, in your own time but basically you can see that uh, Breeze Beach Bar is a very very simple document it is a new concept so you won't be having um, any actual pictures it is going to be just ideas and textures and, um, and concepts and it's a very very simple format of a Word document while Cochle Bistro is a very comprehensive I think something like 64 pages uh, PDF document um, that is based on an existing concept that includes all kind of things such as um, information about the owners, information about uh, the brand, uh, information about um, uh, the, uh, the, the existing uh, business, uh, examples of menu, products, um, design and so on. So it's a very, very comprehensive document. It's a fantastic concept. So if you ever end up going to Beirut or Dubai, I definitely recommend for you to go and visit those outlets. Uh, but these are documents just for you to, to have a look um, and, um, uh, and just get a feel of what a uh, concept document is. So we're moving on uh, on interior. As I said, interior is the most important part of any conceptualization. So we're going to spend most of our time today on um, interior. When you're thinking of interior, you have to be thinking of functionality uh, and uh, aesthetics and attractiveness and also symbolism. So of course, um, everything that you design should be functional. At the end of the day, it should serve a particular purpose for the operational team. Also, of course, it has to be attractive and aesthetically pleasing, beautiful per se. Um, and as well, you have to be thinking about um, the symbolism, what your design says about your concept and your brand. So uh, as well, uh, now we're moving on the main interior components of an F&B outlet. Um, I'm not saying that all of the F&B outlets will be having those components, but these are the main. So, of course, very much depends on the type of the, um, uh, the, the, the concept and the brand and the type of the uh, establishment you're going to be designing. But these are the main components, so you have to think of um, them when you're doing your planning and design. So these are entrance, reception desk, cloakroom, washrooms bar and if you if you decide to have a service bar commercial area or uh, restaurant table setting um, also called uh, kitchen if you're going to be serving food back service area wait stations um, storage and delivery entrance um, and service entrance and staff room so um, this is all uh, for the first uh, part of um, this lecture. Uh, we're going to continue in the second video with entrance, reception uh, desk and cloakroom. 
In the third video, we're going to be talking about washrooms, uh, bar. Um, then we're going to continue with uh, commercial area and kitchen as these are quite uh, large topics and I do want to talk uh, a little bit more in detail about those two. Um, and then in the last uh, video, we're going to be talking about back service area, weight station and storage and service entrance and staff room. Um, and then um, maybe... Um, they're going to be an extra video of some examples of a um, design and a restaurant plan. And then I'm going to share my little exercise uh, that I would love for you to do um, on your own if you would like to. So that's all from me now. If you would like to, um, to continue with this lecture, you can uh, click on the next video. I'll put a link below. Uh, also, I'll leave for you... Um, the links to the documents uh, where you can um, you can see and you can download the full presentation as well uh, and some additional information. So um, I hope to see you in the next video. That's that's all from me for now. Thanks uh, and see you in the next video. Bye.